Ever wondered how to restart your TP-Link router directly from your phone? In today's increasingly connected world, convenience is key. That's why being able to manage and troubleshoot your router from your phone is such a game-changer. No more fiddling with wires or trying to reach behind a tangle of cables. Just a few taps on your phone and you can resolve minor glitches or update settings on your TP-Link router. So, are you ready to learn how to restart your TP-Link router directly from your phone? Let's dive right in. The first thing you need to do is ensure your phone is connected to the router's network. You might be wondering, why is this necessary? Well, it's pretty simple. Your phone needs to be on the same network as your router to communicate with it. Think of it as speaking the same language. Without it, understanding each other becomes quite a task. Now, let's talk about the TP-Link Tether app. This nifty application is your control center for the router, right at your fingertips. Through this app, you can manage your router remotely, adjust settings and even restart it, all without having to be physically near your router. How do we get this wonderful tool? It's as easy as pie. Head over to your phone's app store, search for the TP-Link Tether app and hit install. The app is user-friendly and straightforward. Once installed, it will guide you through the initial setup process, connecting your phone to the router. Now that we have the Tether app installed and ready, we are one step closer to restarting our TP-Link router. Next, we need to access the router's web interface using the IP address. This is a crucial step in the process of managing your router remotely, as it's the gateway to all the settings and controls. So, how do we get to this mystical IP address? Well, it's easier than you might think. Most routers, including the TP-Link, have their default IP address printed somewhere on the device itself. Look for a label or sticker that lists the details. It should be something like 192.168.0.1 or 192.168.1.1. Once you've found the IP address, open a web browser on your phone. It could be Chrome, Safari, Firefox or any other browser you prefer. Type the IP address into the address bar exactly as it appears on the router. Press enter and voila. You should now be looking at the login screen of your router's web interface. Here's where you need to use the username and password. The default ones are usually admin for both, but if you've changed them before, use the updated credentials. Great job. We have successfully accessed the router's web interface. We're one step closer to restarting our router, all from the comfort of our phone, Keep going, you're doing fantastic! Now, let's navigate to the Reboot options and execute the Restart command. To do this, you'll first need to locate the system settings in your router's web interface. This is usually found in the top right corner of your screen. Once you're there, you should see an option labeled Reboot. Selecting this option will trigger a prompt asking if you're sure you want to restart the router. Go ahead and confirm your intention. It's important to remember that the process may take a few moments, so resist the urge to navigate away or close the app during this time. Your patience will ensure the reboot is successful and it will save you from any unnecessary headaches. Once the router has completed its cycle and is back online, you'll see all the LED lights on the router return to their normal state. This is your sign that the router is up and running again. And there you have it! You have successfully restarted your TP-Link router directly from your phone. Remember, if you encounter any connectivity issues after the restart, don't hesitate to troubleshoot. Restarting your TP-Link router directly from your phone is a handy trick to have up your sleeve. Remember, you'll need the TP-Link Tether app, and your phone should be connected to the router's network. Once you're set, just navigate to the router's web interface using the IP address. Find the Reboot option in System Settings and execute the restart. This method is convenient, saving you time and the hassle of physically interacting with the hardware. So, why not give it a try and make your life a bit easier? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more helpful tech tips.